got a tip for you. The police have hidden some of the plans of their ships and engines at the police station. You should find them and take some pictures. Ah. And then I can build their ships, huh? Good to know. This ship's pretty sweet. Get into this thing. Oh, they're here, huh? Yeah. Big blue light should be a little bit of a clue. Let's go ahead and switch. So if all these characters look exactly the same, how do they tell anybody apart? Do they have concepts of identity as such? Like, or is it just like, they're all Ficus? <laughs> hey buddy, I'm Ficus. Hi Ficus, we taught those functionary pigs a lesson, huh? Certainly. Uh what happened to the clues of the Archbishop's murder? The Chief took them. You said it yourself. I'm sure he expects to get something in return. If you want to get them back, you must make him return them to you. And how can I force him to return them? The Chief plays poker every week. There's an old rumor that he cheats, but we've never caught him. If you were to catch him red-handed, you could blackmail him and demand the clues in return for your silence. Find the place where the game takes place and take pictures of him cheating. Oh. There's nothing a little trusty journalism work can't solve. Whoa. Big guy. Two big guys. Oh, they're going at it. I take this picture. Um, I'm gonna try taking his body. No, I can't. Okay. You go. aren't exactly honest. I've just caught you cheating. I can't make ends meet on my salary. Er, get to the point. How much do you want for that picture? I want the clues of the Archbishop's murder. Mmm, how odd. Everybody seems to be interested in those clues today. The crazy gamblers offer me a fortune for them. I'll sell them to you for... Let me remind you that I've just taken a picture of you cheating. Oh, that's true. What a bad memory. Let's make a deal. I smash your face, take the picture away, and pay you nothing. What do you say? Well, I don't think I'm really interested. Ah, too late for that, sweetheart. Yeah! Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah! Ah. So, a crazy gambler wants to buy the missing clues. I should call him. All right. Well, he's going to maybe do some super crazy bets to get him. Hi, crazy gambler. I heard you're interested in the clues of the Archbishop's murder. May I ask you why? I like to know everything. However, I'm not the only one after the clues. Someone else is offering money for them. And, of course, the Chief of Police will sell them to the highest bidder. The Chief of Police doesn't seem very smart. Don't you think we could snatch the clues from him? The Mayor is the only one the Chief trusts and the only person he would tell where the clues are. You can also pay for them. The last offer was 50,000 scraps. You can either buy the clues or get him to tell you where they are. That's up to you. All right, I'll give it a try. Good luck. 50,000 scraps? Good lord, I've only got 3,700. 
And I'm trying to save up so I can build better ships. No, thank you. I think we'll just go visit the mayor. Alright, I'd get the chief leaves to give me clues. I can buy them for 50,000 scraps, but if I transform myself into the mayor, I only have to ask him this. I'll save my money. Yeah, I think we'll do that. But, I do want to congratulate this uh, mission structure. Because let's say that um, I was more interested in the sandbox aspects of the game. Uh, where are we going to go? We're going to go over here to the town hall. Got it. Yeah, if I was more interested in riding around and doing side quests and the super crazy bets or whatever, I'm sure to have a lot more money. So, um, it kind of lets you choose how you want to progress the story. You can either progress it through playing the actual story, or you can, um, you can play the side missions and use that to just kind of fast forward through it. Which is a great concept, you know, it's not forcing the player to, to engage in, in content that they're not really interested in. This place is pretty. This is a very, very uh, galactic sinity, isn't it?